Hey guys, and welcome back to Violin Teacher YouTube channel. So I'm going through Wolfhart Etude Book number four, let's see, Opus 45, Book 1, and this is going to be Etude number 2. And at the top of this, Wolfhart has indicated that on the second, third, and seventh Etude, he advises that you do the bowings that are at the top the bowing variations that are at the top of the first etude that are to be used. So imagine if you were um, Dr. Wolfhart's student, you would have to do those etudes with all those variations in the bowings. It's a pretty big challenge. And as I said in video two, video one, which you can get the link to right here, uh, I use Sevchik. Opus 1, Book 1, Part 1, Number 11, all ones. That's a bowing exercise, a really good one, that has all those variations in the bowings. And by the time you are there, um, not in, I'm not saying that I use Sevchik from first page, you know, in chronological order, but what I'm saying is by the time I give you that as my student, you're... Um, you're, probably at a, you're probably around Book 4, maybe Book 3. Okay, so you're going to get those bowings in your other pieces. So why not just move on? And that's what I do. So in number two, it looks like we are again in C major, not as many lines. So let's see what, what challenges. Use fourth finger where it's indicated. Hold the fingers down as long as possible. Okay, and that's a good way to practice, is just, is just to do that. With your fingers and leave the bow out of it. You can, you can hear it too. So if you need any midnight uh, methods of practicing and not bothering people, that is a good way to do it. So let's see, let's take this at a reasonable allegretto, moderato type tempo. And let's um, let's see what we have as our challenge. <laughs> A little bit of surprising things in there just nothing you know once you've played through it you can get it but um, around line three you have an F sharp so it kind of moves into um, G major a little bit F sharp also on the on the D and the E and then all of a sudden in line four you have to get back into C major with that F natural so on the D so watch that I also noticed another technical thing in here that may be of a good challenge for you, and that is a lot of going from one to four. So make sure that when you do that, you are holding the, the one down. I'll, I'll go through this and show you a couple examples of that. The very first measure, 
right there, and then you got to set the three behind it and walk down. Now, let's see. There it is again. Here it is again. That's third. Now we do this again on the A string. Again. back to the original thing again and we'll do it uh, one two three so that's kind of a repeated theme in this etude so watch out for that okay all right guys hope number two helps you get strength in holding down the one setting that four really is a reach but it's good for setting a good left hand position C major is a good challenge for beginning violin and even even intonation-wise, if you've been playing for about a year, sometimes you don't get it in tune perfectly. So watch it. <laughs> See you in the next one.